Alright, so this is going to be an abstract watercolor demonstration. And it's going to be my first video with uh, audio. Because I figured my videos are probably kind of boring with just silence. And I recently got some new microphones to go with the camera, so why not do some audio? So I'm going to get clean water real quick and I will be right back. I'll probably just be using this one flat brush. I'm not sure what you call it. But to start, I'm just going to wet the paper basically with some very light colors. And for this part of the painting, it doesn't really matter what you do at all. You're just filling the page with big shapes, light colors, and um, yeah, you're just filling the page basically, covering some of the white. You want to keep some of the white too because it looks nice, but... You're just getting a base on there, pretty much. And I'm using some Arches hot press paper right now. I might switch the camera angle to a better view so you can see this better. So I lost a little bit of the painting because I didn't realize it wasn't recording. But that's okay, because I'm not too far along. Basically, you just want to keep the first wash very light. You want to keep the shapes big. And the colors light, basically. But I've started going in with some darker colors right now, with the oranges and the yellows. But I'm about to add some red right now. That was a little bright, but that's also okay, because if it's bright and it looks good, I mean, keep it. I'll keep that. Uh, that looks good blended into the orange right there. I might add some blues, maybe. To go along with that red. Usually I wouldn't go in with the darker colors this early. But uh, this just kind of happened. And I mean it doesn't look bad so I'm not complaining about it. I'm going to do some yellows and maybe mix that into the blues some and get some greens going out of here. That looks good. I did uh, some abstract watercolor demonstrations already. I actually did uh, three already on video, but I went to edit them, and the white noise in them was horrible. Because that was before I had gotten these microphones. So I'm hoping the microphones will fix that. And uh, I'll start doing voiceovers in my videos. I don't know how much I like that strong blue in the corner up there. So I might add uh, some purples or other reds to go with it. I definitely don't want to overwork it, but I do want to change it up a little bit. I'm not sure how I want to do that. 
Maybe add some more blues up here. I don't know. I like this painting so far. Not really sure where to go with that. It's the number one thing about abstract painting is just keeping it loose for the most for the most part. For me, I don't know. I guess because it's art, there's no rules. But keeping something loose, especially with watercolor, tends to make it look better. I really like this uh, kind of teal color. It's like a greenish blue. I think that's the cobalt blue mixed with maybe new gamboge. I'm not really sure of the colors on my palette, which kind of I'm I'm sh I'm sure of a, of a lot of them, but there's a few on there that I don't know. I don't have a huge palette. So it's not like, uh, it's not like I don't know what it is, but I cannot identify it at this moment. I have a lot of yellows in there. I only have one red, two blues. Um, I have three yellows, I believe. from here. Hmm. Maybe some purples. Purple is always a good color. Oh yeah. I love purple. Purple is probably one of my favorite colors. Another thing is, don't forget to be kind of bold in your brush strokes. You want to be confident in every mark that you place on the paper. Which kind of goes in with looseness. I like that shape, that blue one. I'll do some red right there. Yeah, very cool. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of yellow right here. paper is still wet and this blue from the beginning right there ooh I might add some red and make it a little orange right here I have to remember to uh, press record when this stops. I'm so bad about that. Because the camera only has 10 minutes of uh, recording time. And I forget to press the button every time. So I, I always lose footage.
I do hope this microphone ends up working. I haven't tested it out yet, and I got it from uh, Goodwill. So I hope that it works, and I'll find out when I'm editing this. <laughs> Purple is such a nice color. Nice. Looking good so far. I am pleased. <laughs> Maybe some more green up here. that green part up there. I like the whole thing. Really, it's turning out good. I'm surprised. Usually when I'm filming myself, I I do worse because I, it's like an audience almost, but I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised. I want to add some stuff in this area, but I'm also kind of scared to mess it up. Because I don't know what color I should do. I will just uh, do other stuff until it comes to me. Maybe some stuff up here. Some reds. Maybe it's time for some of that quinacridone gold up here. That is a nice color. Very vibrant yellow. And it can kind of function as a cool yellow or a warm yellow, depending on the circumstance, which is always a plus, because I try to do a limited palette kind of thing, especially for travel. Wait, coming some more orange. Right there. I hope this kind of fades out a little bit. That's a little bright. It should because it's still wet. It's just a little intense for the rest of the paper, I think. I'm just adding a little bit of that yellow over here to kind of balance out the blue. I do like that. Nice. I'm 
maybe some more yellow over here. Ooh. And maybe I'll fade that into the green right here. Nice. camera is about to overheat so I may have to come back in a little bit but I'd rather not <laughs> that's kind of annoying but I'll be back I guess all right so I think the camera is cooled off enough to let me finish the video I forgot what I was talking about, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep adding some green, maybe. Actually, some more red, too. I'm going to do that right uh here. Actually, I want to do some more red. Right here, too. Maybe. Yes. Actually, maybe a really light red. There. That looks better. I like that. I think this one's close to done, pretty much. I don't want to add too much. So the last thing I want to do is overwork it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I might call this one uh, about done. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I don't really know what else I could add. Maybe just a little more blue-green in some spots. here a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it good there. Alright, so that, I think that's about it for the abstract watercolor demonstration. I will pull out um, the ones I did in the last videos that I'm not going to put in this one. Alright.
that. So this one's from just now. I've got three. This one is the first one that I did. It's pretty much the same same process. I just start with light colors and build up pretty much. This was the next one. I think this one's my least favorite. I don't not like it, but I don't think it looks as good as the rest. And then after that one, I did this one. And I do like this one. I like the colors on this one. And then uh, this one today. And I like these because they all kind of fit together almost. Like, I didn't make them like that. But they do kind of fit together. This one doesn't fit as well, I don't think, because, yeah, I guess it kind of fits. But yeah, that's the uh, abstract watercolor demonstration. If you like the video, maybe drop a like, and if you want to see more, maybe subscribe. Thanks.